in our kitchen today, not one, but two fantastic chefs who just happen to be mates. Yes, Ken Holm <laughs> and Phil Vickery are Great teaming friends. up to bring us a super feast. But who's the head chef today then? Yes, of only one. Oh, no. There's only one. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Can I tell you a story? Uh, 1995, Ken and I cooked on my first TV programme. And I cooked with Ken, with Nick Nairn, and we were cooking away. And at the end, I said, Do you know what, Ken? It's love, so to see you. And my goodness, I watched you when I was a boy cooking, blah, blah, blah. And he said, And he turned around and went, Yep, and I still look younger than you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, are you, what are you cooking for us today? I'm just doing a curry, uh, Chinese curry chicken. There it because is. that's really popular in this country. And a lot of people ask me, even now, you know, how is it, you know, how do you make it mm. perfect? And uh, so we'll start. What you do is you take chicken with egg white, mm -hmm. and uh, the first time I was cooking with Phil, and I was showing him this, and he was a really young lad. Still <laughs> still <laughs> and what's going in here is and that corn that's flour. And corn flour, and, and a that's little what bit makes of salt. It really silky, is it? Exactly, it gives it a velvet texture, mm. and we, actually we call it velveting. And you put this in the what fridge. Was that, what was in that one? Yeah, that's just a little bit of salt. Just salt, okay. You mix that really well and put it in the fridge for about 20, oh, yeah. thank you. Look at him being so people. attentive. He's never normally this tidy. In the fridge. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's the sous chef today. <laughs> I won't <laughs> scream at him. No, no. <laughs> and you either put it in warm oil, or in this case, uh, this is even healthier, it's just a little bit of hot water. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's extremely and healthy. You just, yes, it's very healthy. And what you do is you stir it around until it becomes slightly cooked. You don't want to overcook it because a lot of people don't realize that when you actually heat something up really hot like this, when you take it out, it still continues to cook. Mm. Right, Phil? I think they call it the residual heat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> this is so sweet. So you how, long would you, I, how long would you have that in there for? Oh, just really, I mean, it's seconds. I'm going to be taking it out. It just, it right just now. seals the edge, doesn't it? Exactly. It seals the edge. And we're just going to drain this as right. I'm doing Gosh, it now. that is hot, isn't it? It is hot. Oh, okay. Right, so and that's I barely, like I mean, it. that's Thank just warm you. the edges. And now this is where the excitement begins. We heat the wok up again until it's really hot. And you've got to have a hot wok. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, Ken? He, he said that. <laughs> the nickname, wasn't it? Like, did we yeah. pay him to say that? No. I, <laughs> I gave him a bottle of wine, that's why. Cause <laughs> <laughs> you want to heat the wok until it's hot. And this is something which is really interesting because I think before my first series, uh, people would say, I mean, you never put a pan mm. on the heat without anything in it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, pe people will say, you know, you start a fire. I, I remember the studio, we had to have three firemen because they, they thought I was going to burn it down. Really? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. But you never did? No, no. <laughs> not, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. No, it was the first time. Do you remember that series Hot Chef you did? Yes, that, right? yes. And you, we had to get the, um, to clear the studio because it's yes. too hot. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> So then you're popping in yeah. the oil now. Just a little bit pan. of oil. Just so you're, you're going to do the vegetarian version, isn't it? I'm going to do yes. a tofu version, yeah, very simple, qu quick dish. But Ken's here because he cooked at liter the Oxford Literary Festival yesterday. Yes. And at the closing dinner, didn't he? That's you? right. And I was um, also doing it for Oxford Gastronomica, okay. which is Gosh. fantastic, which you I'm see a patron of. You that's now because it's really no, that's smoking, hot. Yeah, isn't that's it? garlic. Is that what you're looking for, the yes. big smoke, smoking oil? That's smoke. If it doesn't smoke... It's not happening. Just tell me again what oil you use. Yes, that's either vegetable oil or groundnut oil. Okay. Right. Any type of oil is fine. Okay. Not uh, olive oil. Uh, no, not olive oil. Do you know why? Because, uh, right, Phil, yeah. olive oil burns. It burns, but all the natural perfume goes around about exactly. 68 degrees or something. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. That's don't panic. Already no, I'm not you. panicking. I've stopped you entirely. <laughs> you are the boss. Salt. Bit of salt. And some pepper. Bit of pepper. And what we have here is just a little bit of uh, rice wine. You can use dry sherry. And rice wine is really fantastic. It, it's Smells funny. Good. You can actually get fat even in your supermarket now. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, you can. It's amazing that the changes that have happened yeah. in this country. Um, We're much better now at all sorts of ingredients from all over the a world. A little bit of uh, chicken stock. But the thing to say here also is that good Chinese food is very simple. Yes. It's about six or eight ingredients maximum. Is that right, Kenon? Exactly. Yep. You don't really need a lot. This is so just a touch stock, of sugar. A little bit of sugar. sugar. And this is just a madras curry paste. Now, the way we do it is a lot lighter than the Indian because yeah. Yeah. it's not as strong, which is probably why it appeals to a lot of people. A little bit of soy sauce. Just mix that together. 
Oh my god, I'm salivating. And <laughs> we're it just smells cooking. so good. Exactly. And it's the kind of food that, you know, all your viewers can. Yeah. Tonight, they feel like making something. And Very it's, it's simple, so easy. Isn't it? And if you want this to be slightly thickened, you can thicken this with a little bit of corn flour. But and what are you doing, Phil? I'll just going to get mine ready for when okay. it's finished. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to do a to tofu version. I've Look never eaten tofu in my life. Right, it's very really? good for you, very lean, uh, high in protein, yeah. not much fat. And it's one of those things you can latch a lot of flavours to, a bit like chicken. So is yours done now? Look at that. Yes, I'm done. Is that all finished? <laughs> Leave it on, Ken. I've got it. I've got it.